A lot of us are familiar with the formula for how to calculate a standard deviation, or we can look it up and we can calculate that. In this video, I would like to talk about how you could visualize where the standard deviation is on the curve without doing any math whatsoever. So first we take our standard bell curve and we figure out where the mean is or where the average is. And that's pretty easy. That you can visualize. It's right there smack dab in the center. But what about that standard deviation? Is it far out? Is it far in? If you do a Google search for standard deviation, you will find them scattered all about. They're not all right. A lot of them are incorrect. But it's easy to figure out where the correct place is. If you go ahead and you look at that curve, there's a place where it is concave down, place where it's concave up, and then concave down again. There's sort of three sections to that curve. If you look for those, where those change right at that point, in this case where it goes from green to red, or concave down to concave up on any bell curve, you will find that is where the standard deviation is. To the left, you'll have minus one standard deviation. To the right, you'll have plus one standard deviation. And so even without having the lines there, the red and the green lines, you could visualize that. You could see that right there is where one standard deviation is. We could then look at the distance. The distance from that minus one standard deviation to the mean will be the exact same distance to that plus one standard deviation to the right. We can get those exact distances, move them out, and then that is where to the left, minus two standard deviations will be, and to the right, plus two standard deviations. And of course, we can keep doing that and get minus three standard deviations and plus three standard deviations. But that right there is all that you need to know in order to be able to visualize where that standard deviation is. Concave up, concave down, gives you everything that you need to know. 